I'm OG, y'all new to the game. So I'm back for a quick video and today's video is going to be about the lip kit by Kylie that literally launched I think yesterday and I think they're all sold out now. I just thought that I would show you some dupes and swatches for the shades that she launched out. They're quite pretty shades. I really like the true brown which I'm wearing. Now this is the dupe. I obviously don't have them and I don't think I'm going to buy them because they're in the US. But um, these are just very cheap drugstore alternatives and they're quite similar I mean on camera it might not look the same because my light is too bright which I need to sort out but the products that I'm showing you today are quite similar to them so I spent quite some time trying to find the right shades for this video but I'm quite happy with what I found I mean this is what I found in my collection and even if you don't have the same things so just try and see what you have in your makeup collection or what you have already and if you want to make it match just say with a powder or just mix shades up and you'll find the shade that is right so um, literally that's what I've been doing and I think that's what I always do anyway so we'll just go straight on to the video and I hope you guys enjoy it okay so let's just start with the lightest shade and I think the lightest shade if I'm not wrong is Candy K and it's kind of like a nude colour but has a kind of like a pink tone to it so the thing that I have got in my collection is um, a velvet lip lacquer and it's the MUA one this is literally £3 at the drugstore and this, this shade is Tranquility and it's very matte, it dries matte, I've had no issues with it um, maybe throughout the day you might need to reapply it um, depending on what you're eating but I think it stays on pretty well me um, I am going to be using a lip liner with this and I'm going to use the number 7 lip, lip pencil in nude So when I'm done lining my lips, I'm just going to apply the lip lacquer. This is what it looks like. The packaging's really nice and you get a lot of product in this. So I really like them and I just feel like this shade's quite similar to Candy K. Look how pigmented these are. So personally, I wouldn't buy Candy K if I, ha I, if, if I could because... I checked online literally that I think they're all out of stock first of all but I wouldn't personally buy Candy K for my skin tone because I just feel like it's one of those shades that kind of washes me out I don't know if you but and on camera it's looking very bright and trust me it's not as bright because when I look at it now it's all right like you can it is wearable for my skin tone I wouldn't really spend $30 on a color that I know that I can't wear as, as often but this is what I've got as a dupe for Candy K. So if you're looking, if you if you have paler skin tones, this will look really really nice with on you because it has that tiny brownie pink tint to it. And I just think it would be the perfect shade if you have paler skin tones. So this is my dupe for Candy K. So now onto the other shade. The other shade is called. Let me just see. It's called Dolce K. I hope it's, I'm saying it not properly. But this shade is more of a brownie nude. So I've tried to get what I can. Um, so for the lip liner, I'm going to be getting. Um, I'm going to be using the Cappuccino lip liner by Rimmel, which is quite a brown shade. And then on top, I'm going to go over with this Sleek Matte Me lip cream, and it's in the shade Birthday Suit, and it's got quite a brown hint to it. So we'll just see how this goes. But I've switched it on my hand and it's the closest thing that I have to it and that I have that that is drugstore. So cappuccino is quite similar to the actual shade, but I'm just gonna quickly go over and mix in birthday suit. So 
after mixing the two, this is what I come up with and I feel like this is quite similar to Dolce K and it is matte. You really, literally, you cannot feel it on your lips and my lips are quite dry and patchy at the moment because of my previous lip swatch video but it still looks okay and it it's a really nice way to make your lips look really full and bigger by overlining and then applying a matte lip it just makes your lips look so much bigger so I really really like this combination and Dolce K is a really really nice shade but I feel like for more skin tones um, and yeah this is what I got for Dolce K and then for the last and final shade which is called True Brown Shade it's just basically a true true brown i'm going to be using the la colors lip pencil this is called this is literally called dark brown and it's a very very pigmented brown as you can see there and then for the lipstick i'm going to be using a l'oreal lipstick and it's called oud obsession i hope i'm pronouncing that right and that's a true brown as well and they're both drugstore so let's just start with this lip liner I'm then going to apply the lipstick on top. Now this lipstick is obviously not matte as you can see but I'm going to take any powder that I have and I'm going to use this one and you can take any one that you have at home and just basically set the, the, the lipstick in. So that is what I have as a dupe for True Brown K and my light is quite bright but as you can see the powder literally just mattified the lipstick and it's just basically matte on my lips. If any of your lipsticks aren't matte just set it in with any powder and it will literally make it last longer and look matte and that's what I do. I, li I only like matte lipsticks, I don't like anything shiny, only sometimes but that's what I do and yeah it just lasts longer and um, my light is making this brown look like taking the deep colour away from it but it's a very true brown in real life um, and yeah that's all I that's what I could find in my collection I just thought I would do a little Jeep video for you guys because as I saw the prices I was kind of shocked because they are kind of like $29 so they are high end obviously but they're literally sold out so just find anything in your makeup collection, mix them up, have fun with it and just try to find the same shades and if you don't have matte colours then just set it in with a powder. So yeah that's the end of this video, I really hope you found it helpful and enjoyed it and make sure to let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!